Hi, this is your buddy Dave. I'm making this video at the request of uh, Banggood. About three weeks ago, I got this nice uh, Turnigy 9XR Pro on sale from Hobby King. I got it for 60 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. It seemed to be a one-day sale. The reason I wanted it is I have several uh, drones and uh, I'm hoping to get the Banggood 4-in-1 module to work on this thing so that I can uh, have one transmitter instead of a whole house full of the things. Uh, initially I bought the small single chip module, it's an L2401 I believe, which will run the Eosheen 010, E010, which is my favorite indoor toy. I have that in the transmitter here and I've had no trouble with it. Then as a follow on to that I did order the 4-in-1 um, module which I have here. It comes with a little antenna and here's the board and a couple little uh, screws to fasten it into the case. I also purchased a pair of cases and I've got one here and I have another in the transmitter itself. So I've been fighting with this thing for over a week. I cannot get it to work in either PPM or serial mode. I finally gave up yesterday and sent Banggood a request for a refund and their response was to ask me to make a video showing the issue so they can uh, attempt to fix it for me. I decided I will comply because if I have made some stupid mistake which is certainly well within the realm of possibility or the realm of possibility why the solution might be helpful to others and if not why the whole uh, whole thing will be a warning about buying this thing especially version 1 I knew when I bought it I was supposed to ask for version 2 and I totally forgot to. So at any rate that's about where we're going with this. So I'm going to switch to my uh, forehead camera and see if I can show what the deal is in a, as a to the point and logical way as I can manage. Okay so we'll pick it up here in a second. Okay, here we are. The first thing I will attempt is to, or I will show you as I will bind the, my Eosheen E10 to the single chip L01 module, 24L01 NRF L01, I believe it is the full name. I hope I have enough light in here to uh, make this work out. So anyway, the drill to bind this is to pull both sticks to the bottom right while powering up the transmitter. Okay. There we've got a bind. I got to throw the throttle safety off and. Yeah, you can see that that works with no issues. So let us turn off the quad and turn off the transmitter. Now we'll see if we can pull the case out of the uh, transmitter with the module. Hoping, yeah, that's easier than pulling it out without the case. So now we need to plug the antenna into the module. Now I'm not using the case, so this is a little bit awkward, but it works. Then we need to put the uh,
small drill into the transmitter which is there we go okay so that's well seated the antennas just hanging so one thing I finally realized about this <coughs> module is that the um, if you watch the installation videos for the thing why the guy tells you that you have to solder the uh, T uh, TX and RX uh, pads together there's some little resistors on the far side of the board and I guess you have to bypass them at any rate this module came and appears they're pre-soldered which means it should work in serial mode out of the box and I don't know if that means if it will work on PPM or not but I know for a fact it will not bind with PPM so anyway the modules and the pads are soldered as far as I can tell if they're not I must be totally blind the dial is set on zero which is the proper setting for serial mode so we shall power up the transmitter Okay, we've got the throttle in safe position. So now. Okay, my mistake. Okay, so I've got two different E10s here. The first one is the serial, or I mean the PPM that works with the uh, with the single chip board, and here is an E10 model that I copied from I don't know where I got it someplace in the last week I found it on a website so we shall select that what switches are off okay so at any rate we can look at this E10. We can go on the mixer, and it's uh, set up as aileron, elevator, throttle, and uh, rudder, which is the proper sequence, channel sequence for this board. We can go to the protocol menu, which is where we set it up for the serial mode. And we've got the external module switch, switched on. We have the protocol as MJXQ, which is the, and the type is E10. That's the right setup for the uh, Eachine E010. And it's got the auto bind option is yes, which means it should bind automatically when I turn the transmitter on. Power is high, the rate's 11 milliseconds. I think that's all default. And there's the bind switch. So I've tried to bind it manually as well. So yeah, I guess we, I don't know if we need to restart the transmitter or not. I've seen guys on videos do it this way. But I will try this first. Okay. You can hear it sending the bind signal, but nothing is happening to the, the drone. So we will kill that. We shall turn off the transmitter. Now let's reset the drone just to be safe. So he's powered up, ready for binding. We'll hit the transmitter. Okay, it should bind automatically at this point. But as you can see, it is not. So we shall once again jump into the menu, get the protocol menu. Go to the bind selection and long press it.
there is the bind, uh, you know, no binding. I guess the other thing I could show you as well is uh, in the radio setup, we can look at the version. I've got it flashed with the latest stable version, which is R220. So beyond that, I have no clue. Uh, you know, I've looked at uh, there's a gentleman named Ken Versus or Versus that has like a 16 minute and 49 uh, second video on installing and setting this thing up. I've watched that several times in hopes that I could find some some small um, step I've missed. And uh, at the moment, I'm stumped. You know, I'm totally stumped. So I guess that's enough. I show well, maybe that's not enough. I guess. Uh, I will unplug this Eashin, and we will try the same thing with uh, my Hubsen 109 dog, a little SPV drone. This thing is a handful in the house, and oh, I have to say one thing I really like about uh, using this transmitter with the with the E10 is that I was able to add some expo and whatnot and make it much easier to fly, especially indoors here where I have a limited space, you know, with the stock a transmitter, even though I've modified a little bit with some stick extenders and whatnot, it just takes a micro movement of the throttle to uh, send the thing to the ceiling. And uh, the other controls are extremely touchy as well, so uh, it's really a pleasure to fly with this transmitter, and you might also notice that I've upgraded to some 250 milliamp uh, batteries, which gives me like eight minutes of flight time, which is beautiful. I had an FPV camera on this thing, but it burned up. I have a new one coming tomorrow, and uh, I was really enjoying learning to fly FPV in the house with it. So I guess I'm doing this out of order. First, I will disconnect the quad, and we will fire up the transmitter again. We will go to the model menu and pick the hub sand. I guess it's a 107. I don't know if it's a 107 or a 109. We will select that baby. And we will go back and uh, take a look at him. His mixer is also AETR, which is required uh, set up for the module. For both of the modules, I have the small one and the big one. We will exit that. We will go to the protocol. Once again, we have the external module on. This one's, uh, okay, it's still multi is the protocol, and the sub-protocol is hub -san. Hubsan is number two on the rotary switch, so it should, I would expect it to certainly be in the uh, in the firmware on the board. The e, E10 uh, is uh, position 15 on the switch, which uh, or on the dial, which could possibly not be in the firmware on the older version. But nevertheless, this uh, Hubsan, I would expect it to bind. Okay, so we have the auto bind switch on. We got the rates and whatnot, the default. And there's the bind key. So I'm going to turn this puppy off again. I will plug the battery into the hubs in. And I've had some little. Uh, difficulties with this frame. Coming apart, one too many crashes. But I'm thinking this thing is really a handful in the house. It's a hot rod, so the uh, the blue front LEDs are flashing, which is ready for binding. Okay, so we shall fire up the transmitter. And according to everything I'm able to find out, it should bind automatically, which it is not doing. So we will jump into the menu again, 
go to the protocol menu, whip up to the bind key, long press it. You can hear it. I got the hepatic on. It's sending the bind message or whatever it is every few seconds to no avail. So I think we can safely give that up. This one is not going to bind either. So we're going to turn that off. And as one last test, we shall attempt to bind him to his native transmitter just to demonstrate that in fact the hubsan does actually work. It's not a dud. Ooh, okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> so anyway, this is your buddy Dave. Um, I'll sign off now and put this up on Bluetooth and send the link to Banggood and we'll see what uh, comes of the whole thing. I will probably make a follow-up video one way or another and let anybody that might be interested know what the heck is uh, going on with this thing. Okay, later.